Hello there, this Sunday I'm letting you in on what my usual Sunday night looks like. This is my relaxation and self-care routine with a bath and a skincare and body care ritual that helps me relax and sets me up for the week ahead. This is something I started doing years ago when Sunday scaries would set in and I dreaded going back to my office job, but I've kept up a version of this routine throughout different jobs and cities and stages of life and it's something I always look forward to. I've mentioned before that self-care comes in many different forms, ranging from major decisions and habits to smaller rituals or products you enjoy. Whatever you do to look after yourself, I'm sure it's taken on new significance this year and many of us have found comfort in the little things like our skincare routines, taking a long bath, looking after our bodies, or all of the above, like I'll run through here. I'm so happy to have partnered with my favourite body care brand, Necessaire, for part of this video. You've seen them on my channel countless times before, they've been my number one body brand since I started using them when they launched in late 2018. Necessaire also has some very exciting news, they're now available online at Sephora in the US. I'll run you through my favourites from the range and how I combine their products when we get to the body bit. Anyone else addicted to baths? They're my favourite way to relax and the main event in my Sunday ritual. In previous videos I've shared the more simple supermarket or pharmacy bath products I love, but when I really want to splash out I love a bath oil. These two add such a strong scent to the bathroom you can pretend you're at a spa and the oil helps to soften your skin too. Olverum bath oil was a life-changing discovery for me last year that has taken my Sunday ritual to another level of relaxation. It's appeared on my channel a few times now, so you will have heard me talk about how intense the scent is. The rich combination of eucalyptus, lavender, verbena, lemon, lime, geranium and rosemary instantly became one of my favourite scents. In lockdown, I also started using Bamford's Geranium Bath Oil, another British brand. Surprisingly comes in the exact same glass bottle as Olverum, so they look good next to each other. This has a much more subtle scent in comparison. Geranium, lavender and peppermint, I'd say the lavender maybe wins out slightly, so it's a nice calming choice before bed. Speaking of scents, I don't need to add anything else to the bathroom if I'm using one of those, but if I've gone for another bath product with less scent, I'll sometimes light a candle. Diptyque make my favourite floral and fresh candles, and Geranium Rosa is my number one. A really fresh, green, geranium leaf scent I always have on the go. I'll prop my laptop up on a stool with a TV show or YouTube on in the background while I soak away and start my routine for my normal to dry skin. I'm by no means an expert and can't make recommendations, these are just steps and products that work well for me. I like doing a first cleanse and removing any face makeup or general grime with Bioderma's famous micellar water. Anyone else surprised by the colour of a cotton pad sometimes even when you don't have makeup on? I switched to reusable cotton rounds this year and love how gentle these are from the Aussie brand Bamboo Face. Some are velour, very smooth and some are terry cotton which has slightly more texture but is nice and soft too. My lockdown skin was pretty good to start with but hasn't been too happy lately. I usually love foaming gel cleansers but when I want to calm things down I always go back to Go To Properly Clean. This is a foaming cleanser that you shake up and pump out. This one's nearly finished so it's normally much more smooth and fluffy. It feels refreshing and softening and although it's very gentle it just helps to calm my skin and any spots down. I love following that with Go To's Exfoliating Swipies. Always on a Sunday so my skin is super smooth to start the week. These chemical exfoliating pads are an all-time favourite. They immediately make my face feel so soft and smooth. One side is slightly rougher than the other, so I personally start with that, then the other side, and following the brand's instructions, I'll leave the solution on for a minute, then splash it away with water. Having that smooth start makes the rest of my skincare much more effective. Predictable pick for regular viewers, but I really do use Glossier's Mega Greens Galaxy Pack Mask every single week. It just feels like a really good clean, but because the texture is creamy, it sort of sinks into my skin before I wash it off, and it feels really gentle, not drying. While that mask gets to work, I move on to my body. If you've watched any of my yearly favourites, empties, body care or scent themed videos since late 2018, there's a good chance you already know Necessaire. They see body care as self-care and put joy back into my routine. Their range really has everything I need. They've got all bases covered, body wash, exfoliator, serum, lotion and deodorant. I've used their products every single day for a year and a half. I know so many of my friends and you are hooked on them too. Too, so it's wonderful to be working with them again. If you're new to Necessaire, they're a clean, effective, sustainable line from LA. Their focus on sustainability has been one of the most impressive aspects for me. They use recycled materials, recyclable packaging, even the ink they print with is recycled, and as of April this year they are climate neutral certified. As many of us try to be more thoughtful about the brands we use, it's also worth noting that Necessaire has excellent diverse imagery, they voiced their support for the Black Lives Matter movement and made a $10,000 donation to the NAA 
LACP's Legal Defence and Educational Fund, and as a very small team, they were honest and upfront about the work they'll be putting in going forward. Their scent range for their body wash and body exfoliator includes eucalyptus, so refreshing and my favourite as an Aussie, sandalwood, nice and warm and comforting, bergamot, the latest addition, an uplifting, zesty citrus, and fragrance-free if you have more sensitive skin or like to keep things simple. Their scents are really realistic and addictive but not overpowering. In the midst of my skincare routine in the bath, I start with their body exfoliator on my legs. I got to test some samples of this last summer before it launched and was instantly impressed. It's a mixture of chemical exfoliants, glycolic, salicylic and lactic acids, and physical exfoliants, bamboo charcoal and pumice, so those little black dots are not microbeads, they're tiny chunks of charcoal that create a grey tint as they melt away. I've mentioned before that I like body exfoliators that lather up rather than feeling thick or pasty, so this is perfect. My skin is noticeably smoother and softer using this once or twice a week. Necessaire's body wash was the reason I fell in love with the brand. Aside from looking minimal and chic in your shower, the texture of this body wash takes body wash to another level. I never thought I'd be so excited to use one and it doubles up as a good bubble bath too. This super smooth gel with vitamins and oils turns into a fantastic rich foam, perfect for a smooth shave after I've exfoliated my legs. It gives your skin a great fresh feeling but doesn't dry it out. I rotate through all of their scents, picking a favourite would be like picking a favourite cat, but I usually come back to eucalyptus. We'll get onto Necessaire's serum and lotion once I'm out of the bath. In the midst of my bath, body and skincare routine, I also look after my lips. I've had this fresh sugar lip polish for such a long time, but it's still going. I only need to massage a tiny little bit of this sweet sugary paste onto my lips to make them feel more smooth. Then lip balm, like this really old favourite Lanolips Peach 101. I like something really tasty and juicy and a bit thick like a lip mask that can soak in while I soak in the bath. When I finally get out, I finish the rest of my skincare routine. A quick spritz of face mist like my favourite, Jerlique Rose Water Balancing Mist refreshes my skin and helps my moisturiser sink in. For the past couple of months, I've been enjoying Shani Darden's Weightless Moisturiser. Shani is the celebrity facialist in LA. If you've ever seen a glowing star on the red carpet, there's a good chance she's responsible. I've read about and dreamed of getting one of her treatments for years, but luckily I got onto her skincare line last year. This is an older bottle, so the name and packaging has changed slightly since, but this light gel cream is nice and simple, so it's a good choice when my skin is playing up a bit. It feels hydrating without being heavy. I always finish with face oil to keep my skin plump, glowy and balanced to minimise breakouts. There are different schools of thought on whether face oil goes before or after moisturiser. Generally we should go from the lightest to the heaviest texture, so because I like a lightweight moisturiser it works best for me with oil as the last step. I've raved about GoTo's Face Hero before, the fantastic lightweight Aussie formula with 10 different plant and nut oils. Another one I've been loving this year is Le Prunier Plum Beauty Oil, a brand run by three sisters on their family's 100 year old organic solar powered farm in California where they cold press plum kernels that used to be a waste product and turn them into this. But my holy grail is still Vintner's Daughter Active Botanical Serum. It's called a serum but the texture is really an oil. I always come back to this when my skin is misbehaving, it's bound to get things back on track. It's the most expensive product I've ever purchased and took years of reading about the hype to get me over the line, but I've gladly kept repurchasing it for the past two years. It just keeps my skin looking fresh and glowy. Back to body as I get ready for bed and it's time for Necessaire's Dynamic Hydrating Duo. Many of us use a hydrating hyaluronic acid serum on our face, so why not do the same for our bodies? Necessaire's Body Serum is a multivitamin hyaluronic acid treat for your body in this giant pump packaging. The gel texture is cooling on the skin and nice and light so it sinks in straight away. My skin is instantly more smooth and soft, but we're just getting started. Follow that with Necessaire's Body Lotion and I end up with the best, most supple, smooth skin ever. Ever. I've said this so many times in my videos now, I've run out of ways to phrase it. It's easily the best body lotion I've tried and makes my skin insanely soft. It locks in the moisture of that serum or you can mix the serum into it. It's not too thick or heavy, it absorbs nicely and doesn't leave any greasiness or stickiness. There's no better feeling on a Sunday night than hopping into clean sheets with clean, smooth limbs after applying their products. If you're interested in trying some of Necessaire's body care magic, you can now spot them online at Sephora in the US and hopefully international shipping isn't too far away. I'll definitely keep you posted. With my skin 
skin and body taken care of, it's time for a few final steps to relax. I always like applying a thick layer of lip balm to avoid waking up with dry lips. By Terry's luxurious Bomb de Rose pot has been my pre-bed lip balm of choice for the past two years or so now. The buttery texture softens my lips and feels so nourishing. If I find my mind racing before bed, this works deep sleep pillow spray is a calming mix of lavender, vetiver and chamomile. Does it make me fall asleep any faster or sleep better? I don't think so, generally don't need help there, but it definitely adds to the whole experience of winding down before bed with a good book and a relaxing scent. My neck, shoulders and back are constantly sore from laptop life, so I'll occasionally use some sort of muscle gel or heat pack to ease that a bit. They can often smell quite strong and a bit medicinal, so this Aromatherapy Associates De-Stress Muscle Gel is a lovely alternative. The rosemary, black pepper and lavender cooling gel smells a bit like that pillow spray and creates a warm feeling that relaxes my muscles. The step that feels like the biggest treat towards the end of this routine is a quick facial massage using a gua sha. Mine is this beautiful rose quartz tool from the Australian brand Zove Beauty. They also make a rose quartz facial roller, but I'm always drawn to the gua sha. It sculpts the face so nicely, whether that's using the heart shape to hug your jawline or cheekbones, or the curved side on your cheeks, forehead or temples. Firmly but gently, so I'm not bursting capillaries. I'm always surprised at just how much muscle tension I find without applying much pressure. Right before I turn off the light, I'll look after my nails and hands. A quick slick of Olive and June's cuticle serum around each nail keeps that area hydrated and makes my mani look so much more neat. It's super absorbent so there's no greasy feeling and by the time I've finished the last nail, the first hand is already dry. Finally, some hand cream to finish. I always have a tube or two by my bed to put on right before I go to sleep so it can sink in overnight. You can see a variety of formulas I enjoy in a previous video, but I like going for something with a slightly thicker or creamier texture at night, like by Terry's Bomb de Rose. That might sound like a lot of steps, but it's an hour I'm happy to put aside on a Sunday night to help me feel physically and mentally ready to tackle the week ahead, and it's the one day of the week I really try to look after myself. A big thank you to Necessaire for partnering with me and for making body care a treat, never a chore. I'd love to hear if you have a similar ritual where you take some time out once a week to relax with a self-care or pamper routine, whatever you like to call it. Maybe you do a mini version of this every day, so please let me know what sort of beauty steps and products you turn to to help you unwind. Thanks for watching, see you next time.